Wondering what gift to get your loved ones with GoPros? Let's check out some of my favorite GoPro accessories. Hi, this is David at Baba. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's check out some of my favorite GoPro Hero 9, 10, 11 accessories from Telesen. I think these are great gifts for friends and family with GoPros. I'll start with a couple of must-haves and end with my latest favorite mount. First, a good charger and several extra batteries. GoPro does come with one battery and it can be charged inside the GoPro with this USC port on the side. However, when I film in the standard 5.3K 60 frames per second video mode, a fully charged battery usually lasts about 40 minutes for me. The bigger problem is once this one battery runs out, I have to wait for it to charge before I can film again. Hence, for an afternoon outing with the kids, say snorkeling, I usually have at least a couple more batteries with me and an external charger like this one from Telesen to charge all my batteries. This Telesen Ali box charger came in a simple white box. Inside the box, there was an instruction manual, says for GoPro 9 and 10 but also works for 11 as well. Under the cover, there's a charger in a plastic bag. Lastly, a charging cable, USB-A to USB-C. The charger is about 68 millimeters by 72 millimeters and 83 millimeters tall. Weights about 245 grams. This one is larger than usual for a few reasons. It's a battery charger for three batteries. It's a SD card reader and has room to store two more SD cards. It's also IP54 waterproof. The outside of the charger is covered with this gray rubbery silicone material. It's very soft and comfortable to hold. The charger or case is very well protected. There's this thick stretchy cloth loop on the top for carrying the charger. An USB-C port that's covered and protected in the back. And when it's plugged in, there are three round lights in the front indicating charging status. The cover is securely closed until I press this button to open it. The inner housing is hard and solid. There are room for three batteries, two SD cards, and an SD card reader which can transfer data at up to 20 megabytes per second. This is a solid, worry-free charger that does more than charging the batteries. It's a safe storage for three batteries and three SD cards. And it's also an SD card reader. There are three batteries included in this particular package and it costs about $60 US. There are cheaper packs with two batteries or just the charger. From time to time, there are additional discounts in the link I'll put in the description below if you want to check them out. Another GoPro accessory that I use all the time is this nice fabric case. Now the GoPro can really take a beating, but with this case on, I can just throw it into my backpack or camera bag without worrying that I'll scratch the lens, the screen, or the body. I like how this gray fabric looks and feels especially this very soft felt material on the inside. There are paddings around the corners and the shell is hard for protection. The zipper goes almost all the way around but leaves an opening on the bottom which is perfect for when the GoPro is on the mount. Even though this has a fabric cover on the outside, it's rated IP54 waterproof too. For around $10 US, it's a good looking way to protect the GoPro. Moving to a couple of accessories that are very nice to have. This is the Telesen Smart Remote. It works similarly to the GoPro official remote. I find it very useful when I have the GoPro mounted or placed somewhere hard to reach, like outside on a car or high on a bookshelf. The Telesen Smart Remote came in a small white box. There's the remote a smaller box inside with a wrist strap a charging cable and a manual it works with GoPro Hero 11, 10, 9, 8 and Max and even with cell phones it's small and light at only 36 grams. It has a bright LCD screen with four buttons, a shutter select button on the top, P 
pairing setting button on the left, star button on the right, and mode power button on the bottom. There are slots for the strap in the back and contact points for charging. The charging cable has USB-A on one end and this magnetic charging connector on the other. It takes about two and a half hours to charge the remote and it usually lasts about 10 hours of use for me. It works like the official remote and is much more affordable. If you want a more detailed comparison between the official GoPro remote to a third party one, check out this video link here and in the description below. Another nice to have accessory is this Teleson Max Lens Mod. It works just like the official one from GoPro. It gives the highest level of stabilization with the widest angle of view. It came in this solid black box. Inside the box, a small instruction manual, a cute tiny microfiber cloth, and a nice black rubbery case. With the Max Lens mod inside. A very good and tight fit. <laughs> there it is. The Telson Max Lens mod is quite solid. It's all metal around the lens. Instead of flat sides like the official Max Lens mod, it has these ridges on the corners so it's easier to hold and twist on and off the GoPro. The Max Lens mod works on GoPro Hero 9, 10, and 11. I have the 10 here. Just twist off the lens cover like so and twist on the Max Lens mod. It gives GoPro 9 and 10 horizon leveling so I can rotate the GoPro all the way around and the image stays level. Even though the new GoPro 11 already supports this, the Max Lens mod still adds a wider field of view. It still has the same 2.7K 60 limitation though. The other big complaint about the official Max Lens mod is its $99 price tag. This Taliesin one is $35 cheaper which I think it's much more reasonable. The last accessory for today is my favorite GoPro mount these days. The magnetic neck holder mount. It came in this big flat box. Inside the box, a plastic instruction sheet the neck holder, a mount, an adapter, and a screw rod. I was quite intrigued about how this neck holder mount looked and worked. It looks like a thick necklace. It has a metal tube inside so it's rigid but moldable. The outside is covered with a rubbery silicone protective layer. There's a flattened out part on the top for the back of the neck with ridges to minimize slipping. A couple more flattened out parts on the sides for the neck mount to rest nicely on the upper chest. It's soft to the touch, very smooth and comfortable to wear. The opening is about 15 centimeters wide by 17 centimeters long. There is a larger one that's 20 centimeters long. It has a good weight to it at about 180 grams. So the weight along with how it contours allow it to sit well on the shoulders and upper chest when I'm wearing it. There's a button on the back to open up the necklace and it just snaps on to close. Very quick to put on and take off. What's even easier is how the GoPro attaches with magnets. With the GoPro attached to the provided mount, it just snaps on magnetically to the neck mount and locks in place not going anywhere. To take it off, simply twist and it comes out. With the included adapter, the GoPro can be mounted vertically too. Of course, phones and other action cameras can also be mounted with the right mount adapters. Here's a quick clip I took with this setup on a short walk. It's a great mount for POV shots. It's stable and very comfortable to wear. And the biggest reason I end up using this mount instead of all my other ones is how quickly and easy it is to put on and take off. For about 30 US dollars, it's my favorite mount these days. And I think it'll be a great gift for that family member or friend with a GoPro this Christmas. Of course, more than any physical gifts, the best gift we can give to our loved ones this Christmas season, or any season for that matter, is spending time with them.
What are some of your favorite GoPro accessories? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, check out this video next. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember to cherish each moment. A big shout out to Telesen for sending these out for me to try and share with you.